I, I was going to ask you guys this yeah. question, right? Maybe not the Brooklyn now, but would you say, like, because there's evils in this, growing up in the burbs. Would you say you would rather have your kids grow up in the Brooklyn we grew up in or what they're going through now? That's a good, if you had that's a choice. A good question. I'm know. not saying one is better than the other. It's just so dramatically the different. The Brooklyn that we grew up in? Because I know, I know right? it was bad and it was dangerous. It got better. But we had such a good community. Kids were together. Kids played together. They weren't distracted, right? How much, This guy was doing groceries for my mom Yeah. at eight years old. Like, full-blown out groceries. Like, eight get the chicken, old, get the celery, get the lettuce, get yeah, the onions, get the that. milk, and then come home. That mm. was the culture, yeah. That, that was the that, culture. That was norm. Yeah, what norm. eight-year-old? At 15, I was flying across the country Wait, to meet look, with let's girls. Let's put it in perspective. Eight years old. How old is your son? Eight. You think <laughs> you're your son? <laughs> Can't even leave him. I can't even leave him at home <laughs> so, alone. Shout out to Zacharias, uh, Zacharias no. son. Beautiful son, beautiful kid. I mean, we love him to death. Think about it. But you know, he's a little soft, right? And I mean, it's, it's true. No, but right? my mom used to leave him and my brother and me. And I, I was five, I'm five years younger, right? My brother's four years, right? So I was four, a four year old, and these guys would watch me the whole summer. If my mom would do that now, she'd be arrested. Yeah. It's crazy. She'd be arrested for something like that. And was, she, he, was he really eight? Yeah, they're four years ahead of me. But yeah, so, he was nine. So, my brother yeah. was eight. I was four. My my father walked out on us. Me, and my mom. I was six, seven, six, I think. Said, and my grandmother moved in. And I had same thing. I had to go across the street from 18th Avenue in that Chinese store and yeah. get groceries or go to Coney Island. Yeah, yeah like right? a little bodega, whatever. Yeah, and people don't believe me. Like my in laws don't. My uncle aunt like they're not. That That's what no I'm way. saying. What? They no don't. Way. They don't he's, know he's, that. He's, he's, a, he's a boasting, right? But if you tell somebody <laughs> from New York that, yeah, they're like, oh yeah, I used to do that too. So what? My mom used to give me five dollars yeah, yeah. to get you know buy like a pack of. So let me say a question. Bubble gum. You hear stories now, a, a kid, a boy being abducted, or being it touched. Sucks. We never, did we, we never really heard that stuff back then. We didn't. We did it. But by the media was different too, right? I mean, what well, was our outlets, different. right? It only we only heard something when it happened to somebody close that to us it. that yeah, we knew. Yeah, you're right? right. Yeah. Not that it didn't happen. Yeah. It it did. It yeah. was just as dangerous. It was just as bad. I, I honestly think there's more creeps in suburbs, like to your point. I, I agree. I kinda do think that. I feel than, scared walking you know, in the suburbs. Yeah. Than in the city. 